where you at right now, bro? Where it's cut road again. I'm in the Midwest, man. I'm over there with Nelly. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Midwest. Shout out to Nelly, dog. I'm in Kansas. Now nah, I'm in Kansas City, though, man. Oh, now nah, I'm pulling up. My cousin actually just hit me, so after this, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pull up to an apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew it because I told everybody I was gonna. <laughs> I told everybody because I saw the GPS said the original GPS told me 130. 130 turned into like 230. And 230 turned into three. And three turned into 315. And 315 turned into four. And yeah, so on. So I finally got here like 450. Something. Dang. Not- <laughs> you don't realize how much each and every stop add up. No matter how quick or long it is in your mind. That- Add up some stops. Yeah, at least you made it there, bro. No, that's great though, man. But you know, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I don't know if you're familiar with the Joe Button versus Adam 22. You're a culture vulture. Yo, yo <laughs> I didn't even know what's that. I was kind of confused. I was like, is are they friends or not? Because he was interviewing them, but yeah. then he was grilling them like hard. Like, even with the uh 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 the clickbaities, he's like, yeah, he calling them out on being clickbaity. Yeah, like, blah blah blah. Uh, you insensitive. You just doing it. Yo, I was like, hold on, is this supposed to be a, a friendly interview or what? Man, no, Adam twenty two. He's he's he is a little clickbaity. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's all in how you want to look at it, bro. I get entertained by his podcast, though. I'm not gonna lie, and not even necessarily when he's doing it. It's when the um, even his, you know, he he don't even do the interviews. Sometimes he had the other homies, the Flacos, the ads. I like his crew. He got a he got a great production. I know ad. He'll have ad in there. He'll have, you know what I mean? T Rail. I'll, I'll be watching his stuff. Yeah, I'll be seeing his stuff. Yeah, he got a he got a great production, and basically all that is is it's a business. Unfortunately, if someone passes away. You might have like a whole interview that you did a year before. I'm going to cut it up. Yeah, it's a business. I have to pay my employees. But at the same time, more people are going to probably view those clips now than they did the entire interview a year or two ago. Right. So it's it's one of those things. I'm not I'm not really in the business like that because I don't really interview people. We just do a podcast. So the most thing I can do, RIP, check out this old clip of Nipsey Hustle from 2018. Right, right, right. But he does it in a business mm-hmm. format. So I'm not mad at people like that. He, he get into his. He I, um, into his now, I'm. I don't know if I'm necessarily mad at the host itself or the clickbaitiness. Because, for example, if I'm not mistaken, he, he went straight into basically saying he, Kevin Samuel's whole mission was to get interracial dating or something. Yeah. But that, that wasn't, that was a part of it. If something doesn't work out, he says, explore your options. But he just made, he just basically put words in his mouth and all types of stuff. It was wild. Now that, that part, yeah, if, if you're not even conveying my message, especially when I'm not here to kind of break it down just in you case. You what I mean? Yeah, that, I, that portion of it. If I didn't know, if I never watched the Kevin, Kevin Samuels thing and all I heard was Adam 22, I'd believe Adam 22. Well, I, I wouldn't, I don't know know if i believe him but i that's all i got to go by you know what i mean hey you got one so, of the top platforms in the industry you might just go off that you might do your research off kevin samuels based off adam 22 right so th- yeah so you, you definitely if you're gonna put something out there make sure it's accurate because people might read the title and be like i'm good oh this was oh this is the guy i've been hearing about oh no i'm, I'm good on that I, I, exactly that's so exactly. it's kind of like that thing when, when um before you even I see it more with women than men. Before you even meet somebody, you're like, oh, no, nah, I don't like her. And now nah, her homegirls don't even like the new girl at, at school or at the, at the job or at the whatever, yeah. on campus. All because someone was like, oh, you know what I mean? Yep. You don't even get to know this person. No, I get it um, on that on that aspect. It's one th- The clips are one thing, but at least if you're going to throw them out there, at least title them decently. Yeah, <laughs> you got to title them correctly, man. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. Doing clickbait. I don't know if this is uh clickbait or the album bait, man. But you heard about the uh the game talking about little baby Jay Z. They're the what he said they're the biggie and he called the the Jay Z and Nas of this generation. 
Oh no, I heard Lil that. Baby and Dirt. Heard the that. Lil Baby and Dirt, the, the Jay-Z and Nas of this generation. And young boys is Tupac. Young boys are Tupac. So <laughs> when I first heard it, I was like, there go game. He's being uh he's being uh troll, tro- Mr. Troll again. Yeah. But then I took time to think about it and like say analyze, like put yourself, put really put yourself in the shoes of somebody born in 2000. All you know is those guys. You don't know who's Tupac. That's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when they try to talk about KRS One and Big Daddy King Us. No disrespect to those guys, but you get what I'm saying. We can act like, oh, no, 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 no. Well, we weren't there. We know our generation. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, now some people try to fake it, like, oh, yeah, yeah. that KRS One album in '92, real hip hop. Come on, bro. Like, yeah, you, you probably know of his music, but when you're in a generation, it's different, right? Now, no, I mean, yeah, actually in it and a part of it. Watch the part of it. What? Yeah, yeah. There's levels to it. So, people right now, NBA Young Boys, the biggest streaming artist, billions of streams, like, he is known. So, if you throw in comparisons, those are those 15, 16 year old Tupac. Like how when they were kids, Tupac was your favorite and he was that guy. So Dirk, he's that guy. Baby, he's blowing up right now, consistent. I get it on that standpoint. It's a little, it's a little album click baby. He probably been waiting. He been waiting months. You know what? I'm gonna say this after my album job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna I, say it to you. I really think that's what he did. I really think that's what he <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait this out. I, I got a lot of interviews, but I'll wait until a week after the album or a week before. Just yeah. to strange. No, no, timing is everything, man. Impeccable. Yeah. That's what I will say. His timing is impeccable. Absolutely. So shout out to the game, man. I get it though. Shout out to all those artists, bro. But man, dog, NBA, NBA news, breaking news, bro. I don't know if you've been uh on the social media lately, man. <laughs> no, yeah, no, what breaking happened? news. Donovan Mitchell traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, bro, for a couple players, not the best players, but decent you, players. He was trading. How you feeling? For. It's looking like um the Cavs look like somebody now. They've been they're growing up. They got a, a young core of players, so they got the a uh, Jared Allen. They got a Darius Garland. They got an Evan Mobley. These are all players within three to four years. And now okay. you got Donovan Mitchell, uh, a solid six-year veteran. That's going to make you a legit playoff team. So no more playing games. No more trying to get to the playoffs. You might actually get there. You might be a top six seed. We're going to see. We're going to see. So, uh, yeah. They bro. only – Cleveland. They only the East, yeah. right? East, Eastern uh, Conference. They don't got a chance. They got a – you know who they got, got the Miami Heat, but not but the East is strong though. You got Philly, you got James Harden and indeed. You got Boston, Jalen, and uh Tatum. You got uh who else you got? You got a lot of play- Atlanta Hawks, bro. They 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 building a great young core, Trey Young. Uh, and- it's, about, it's about time, dog, because I feel like growing up, it was the West, 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 yeah. West, West, West. It's, it's about time the sun shine on us, man, on over here on the East Coast. Yeah, long overdue because everybody, when they talk about the East, they're like, oh, that's a cakewalk. If you're in the East, you're lucky. LeBron, forget his greatness. He was in the Eastern Conference for 16 years. He he was supposed to make it to the finals. But so you go through that level of competition, it's, it's people trying to – they got a point to prove. So, yeah, bro, that's that's pretty much what it is on that part, man. But, but who, who you got in this upcoming versus battle since we talking about – for teams going at each other, why not DJs? Why not DJ Drama versus DJ Khaled in a versus battle or some type of... Is that real? Uh, Drama put it out there. He said he'll love to go against them. He was on the Math Hoffa podcast. He talked about it. it Various other podcasts. They're going to do. do gangster grills and and, and, and bit beats too. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Because if, if they're not doing all that, then, then Khaled got the advantage. Yeah, he's more uh, industry. He got more of those industry. Justin Bieber, a little bit. Like, he got all those. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not fair. But it's, I think uh, Drama's throwing it out there. Just let her know, yo, I can put together music too, like Khaled, but he did it more on a mixtape. Still legendary. Uh, the he little tried it a couple times, though, with Willie the Squid or something. Yeah, Willie, yeah. Willie the Kid. 
Lil My bad. <laughs> Dang, I'm beefing with you. You're banned. You're banned. Forever. No, no, because Lil Wayne <laughs> said that in a rap. I don't have yeah. time to beef with Willie the Squid, so I forgot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now he he made attempts. He had he's had a couple records, but nothing compared to what Cali can do. But if you just, it's still all about the music. He still got a lot of gangster grills, a lot of uh, Jeezy songs. So you can he can probably pick ten to fifteen memorable of his, you know, realm versus DJ Khaled. Right, right. Yeah, it may not all be about the commercials, but Khaled, oh, he got a hell of a commercial lineup, though. <laughs> I give him that. That's going to be a tough one, perception-wise. All you need is 20 or 10, however many they doing. Yeah. But, you know, with, with the whole Triller thing, and I don't know how that's going to go, I think they're kind of waiting to see how that goes because, you know, a lot of people, they're kind of in allegiance to Swizz and Timbo, so they might try mm -hmm. to do something else. They might just try to go to a club. All right, you you bring your people, I bring my people. We we'll just keep all this to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that would go, but just in a traditional versus battle sense, I'm going to just have to go with Cali just because of the – just on the commercial side. I got to go with Cali too. It's realistic. I respect Jama. What I can't go with Cali. So, yeah, that's a landslide. Yeah, it, unfortunately, it is. It's just because you would think someone that confident, but when they get yes. to that arena, oh man, they're gonna be cheering a lot of Khaled stuff. They still gonna mess. That's with what I'm them. saying. That's a that's a landslide, man. You got the crowd. You got the notable hits. You got everything. You got the stars. Kelly could bring out a couple of them. Yeah. I mean, drama can too. That's what Drummond gonna have to focus on bringing out people. You yeah. get what I'm saying? He's gonna have to literally focus on bringing them out, bring out Jeezy, bring out Lil Wayne, bring out. But then Kelly's just gonna bring them right on his side. Yeah, yeah. well, you, you you like that song from him that that 20 2005 Little Wayne? Well, how about some newer Little Wayne? Or how about some We Taking Over? Akon just pop out from the ceiling. He just got for dropping from the ceiling. I'm taking over. Like, like Sting. Yeah, Akon yeah. Like Sting. looking like Sting out here. We taking over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just dropped. Everybody's just, it's a, it's oh, a real God. production. So shout out to him. But speaking of artists that can open up for him, bro, the baby might as well open up for Khaled, dog, since he's selling yo, the tickets in New Orleans. Yo, Let me I open just, up for you, Khaled. I just, I just proved me. I, 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 I should have been way more humble back in the day. But yeah. We had all them views. And I just, man, book me, man. Look how many followers yeah. and views. Like. <laughs> the, baby, the baby only got 500 people to come out. What? The yeah. Of course, he denied it, though. Uh, it was biz bad, bad oh. business, bad promotion or whatever. Nah, it was people ain't caring right now about you, though. And this that's what it is. Some people have a two-year run, three-year yeah. run of notability. It's that same bop, man. Yeah. That bop, get yeah, old. Oh. I think it could have been a combination of both, though. Because ain't no way he could get more than 500 people, dog. I don't give a combination mixture of bad bad business why nobody care about me no more y'all don't want to hear me rap <laughs> like the same way i did for the last seven years or whatever <laughs> you're gonna quit <laughs> y'all quit this shit, man. Nah, man. he quitting it like it's a he quitting it like it's a job at denny's y'all quit this shit. <laughs> yeah like i got money i got my mansions i'm good man i don't need this rap yeah bro like, i got mine already y'all quit, <laughs> quit oh <laughs> It's, you never know, bro. Like people get to that point. He, he's at that three to four year mark where people slowly stop caring. It's an anomaly when you're a Drake. Little baby, he's in that, he's in that trajectory. He's like that five year period, but getting better, getting more known. So it's it's hard to keep that same energy with the people. It's, yeah. it's one of the hardest things to do as an artist to stay popular. Man, they got a wing stop nearby. You might need to try those. No, I, I heard my, yo, yo. <laughs> They put the actual that, that that Popeyes and all that. They put the actual chicken sandwich in flavor you want. Smack that that yo! I gotta find a wing stop around these parts, man. ASAP. ASAP. That's a game. That's a game changer because you know you got your one flavor. You only got your yeah hot, bro, mild, and spicy. And what I'm it. saying. So you got bro, ten different. Imagine a lemon pepper chicken sandwich. You sleep. Lemon pepper. 
this is on being a vegetarian I, I missed all those trends i never got the the whole popeyes trend i think the chick-fil-a they got one i never got the experience that like the people bro let us know how it goes, bro. You got to do a food review. Food review coming soon. All twelve of my, all twelve chicken sandwiches. He's gonna eat all of them at once. He's gonna get sick after this. I will do this for YouTube, dog. Food review coming soon, dog. Get get loaded. Twelve chicken sandwiches, straight, bro. Lemon pepper, garlic palm, hot tomic, hot dog, barbecue, teriyaki. High blood pressure coming soon, right after the last one. Bro. Uh, oh, I burn, high blood pressure, everything. Let me let me bounce for real though. Yeah, true. yeah, man. But appreciate y'all watching, man. The Real Individuals Podcast. Cut up as to continue the tour in Kansas City, man. We'll chop it up with y'all next week, man. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Nelly, Nelly album coming soon. Exclusive Nelly album coming soon. All right. I got a secret, y'all. I came up here for the feature. I came up here for that Nelly feature. Uh oh, <laughs> hey, so tell you, I drive a million miles to get the work done, man. But yeah, yeah. all right, though, until next time, peace, bro. All right, peace, bro.